Thanks for staying with us. Now Jack O'Keefe has a delicious dish on today's menu. Sure does. Beef and cashew stir-fry. Family favourite. Well, it will be from now it on. It will anyway, be yeah. from now on, yeah. Eat it. it. Today. <laughs> I don't like it. Eat it. Oh, I'm so hungry, Tommy Jack. So I'm so hungry. <laughs> Tommy just hasn't stopped talking about this slow down hour. Just to drive him mad. <laughs> no, look. Really simple stir fry. I have a few things done uh, just to speed it up so we get everything covered in the segment. I have noodles already cooked off. They are a normal nest of egg noodle that you get in your supermarket. Okay. Boil the kettle, put your nests into a bowl, pour the boiling water over them, give it two to three minutes sitting in the water, strain it off, sesame oil, a little bit of lime juice and salt. So you're well, not so you don't boil them. What? You're not making these... Oh, sure. I was here this morning pulling the noodles across the table <laughs> like this. So you don't, but you don't boil them? You don't put them in no, a pan? No, I don't boil, boil them. Oh, so just pour... Like mush. Okay, right, just, just like a pot noodle kind of. Exactly. Right, it's okay. pot noodle is go. just the same noodle the same as that thing. is. Okay, well, maybe a little good. bit cheaper. But in here then I have... So I browned off a nice piece of uh, minute steak. Really mm. simple, really cheap, really lean steak. And then just slice it up. And then here, in the same pan after the steak was cooked, sliced ginger and sliced garlic cooked in a nice medium heat with loads of sunflower oil. Not loads, sorry, because we're trying to be you a little bit You can see them empty. sizzling away, yeah. Nice smell, smell. It's so really good. really crispy and you can hear the... Gorgeous. Yeah, that was lovely. We were smelling it all, yeah. In on top of that, some red chilli. Put as much as you want and depending on how spicy you like it. I know Alan loves his heat first thing in the morning, so I'm going to put loads I in. saw you chopping those. <laughs> the seeds, do you, do you de-seed it? Or not? It, look, to be honest, perfectly brutally honest, it depends on how much how effort hot. I want to give the dish. Oh. Well, that's it. Okay. If I'm not in the mood and I come home from work, I ain't de seeding the chilies. And I was the in the seeds, mood this morning. Do the seeds, uh, is that where the heat is or it doesn't matter? It's between the two. Okay, you right, reduce right, okay. the heat by removing the seeds. I find sometimes when the seeds toast up a little bit too much in a stir fry, and you can bite into them, even old filling or something, they can kind of. Oh, right. <laughs> we don't, we don't right, want that. Uh, plenty cashews of Cashews didn't go here. in. So there's plain, plain cashews. A little bit of Chinese five spice to give you that lovely kind of takeaway flavour, that nice Chinese restaurant flavour. Now those cashews are going to give it a real crunch though. They are, but they're going, oh, they're just going to be they're so nice cashews. when you toast them off. Mm. Because the oil inside them and the natural nutty fats start to come out and all the flavour comes out. And, right. Oh, it's just straight up umami. <laughs> it's just that kind of that taste that wants you to keep going back yeah. to it and back to it over and over again. Kale, I love Chopped kale. up curly kale, pop a little bit in like that. Don't overcrowd it because you'll just end up boiling it. So just uh, put two portions in that there. Give it a toss. So does the kale cook down or you kind of, you're eating it kind of No, quite cook it down because there's nothing worse than when you get some raw kale raw stuck kale. in yeah. Yeah. No, it's not, nah. yeah. That's why people, like a lot of people are like, that's not food, that's rabbit food. Uh, I know, it. like it's the same as spinach, for instance, like it cooks right down. But does yeah. kale cook like that? Uh, it, fry it, it will eventually. It's it'll go down eventually. OK. It yeah, but it doesn't longer. go as much as um, the way, um, as you spinach were saying, with spinach just disappears. Into the pan, add your sliced steak. And then we're going to make our sauce ingredients. This is really the important part. What I've done up until now, you can forget all about it. This sauce part is the important. This is where at home you can do it with chicken, you can do it with a stir fry mix that you buy in the bag. This is garlic chili sauce. Ooh, the chilies are hitting the back of my throat there. <laughs> <laughs> this is, <coughs> this is garlic and uh, chili sauce. So you get it in the supermarket in the jar. It's basically fermented uh, chili and garlic mixed together. It's class and stir fry. Oh, wow. If you don't have it at home, just use sriracha sauce. So we're going to add about a ta heap tablespoon of that goes in. And then in on top of that, we're going to add some soy sauce. If you notice, I haven't used yeah. much salt yet. I know, yeah. Because soy sauce is very salty. And I love using dark soy because I love that really rich flavour it gives. Yeah. Just tink of soy sauce just like it's salt. That's your salty element gone in there. That meat looks very rare now. It is. What's oh. that, sunflower oil? No, sesame oil. It's going straight in. It'll, so uh, a it'll cook up a little bit more sesame, element before right. we get to you. Uh, well, you've only two minutes. Well, I better hurry up, so. Yep. <laughs> no, I really like it, a bit of medium rare, no? And that looks very rare. Now. And in some lovely one inch pieces of scallion, in at the very, very end, so they're still a little bit raw and crunchy. And then because the soy sauce is so salty, a little pinch of sugar, just to balance out the flavours. Sugar. Right. And then whack up the heat. Up until now, I had it on a nice medium heat, and I'm going to whack it up full, full blast. You could do this in a wok as well, couldn't you? You could do it in a wok. Mm. I sometimes find it easier for home cooks just to use it in the pan, and especially with the induction hop. The pan is kind of a little bit handier. And we're used, as Western cooks, we're used to a pan more. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to heat up. I'm scanning to make sure I haven't forgotten anything because I always forget to add something. And you keep, on. see, oh, look at do that. You toss, oh, do you yeah. toss, do you have to? Yeah, well, it makes you don't much really. more Are you in your kitchen yeah. tossing the pan like I that? I do it, but only because it kind of makes me feel like I'm Jack. <laughs> you get like you're a chef. <laughs> and then it ends up I all over the cook. I have never in my kitchen picked up a pan and, and tossed it like, like that. Like, look at the difference it's made. 
I know, but I would just stir mixture. it in the pan. I, I like trying stir to stir natural like that, where the sauce just clings to the items in the pan. But if you like it sticky and gloopy, just like in a takeaway, add a little splash Come of water. Come on, let's flatter up here now. Right. It's, uh, That's it. Hit it with a splash yeah. of lime juice. Oh, look. Again, that cutting through the delicious. sweetness and the sauce in it. I must get some of that uh, sweet chilli and garlic sauce. That sounds really good. Oh, the oh, smell it's the of it. Best stuff ever. And then just take a nice mix of everything, pop it up on top of your noodles. And, like, it'd be relatively healthy, that, would it? Ah, look, it is. Oh, well, it's yeah, real food. You know, that, yeah. Yeah. It's not super, super good. It's not going to uh, cure every ailment in the world. I'm not going to claim it is. It's just natural food cooking. And, it, like, yeah, I always say this. Food should be about moderation, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Better hand me over that before he passes out <laughs> here. There you <laughs> go. Right. And there's a little Lovely. lime on the plate as well for yourself to have a little squeeze. But, yeah, no, look, it's just real food for families. And... If you don't want to use steak at home, if your kids don't like red meat, if you don't want to be giving young kids steak, chicken breast, chicken thighs, perfectly fine. Diced up turkey breast is excellent as well. Mm. Prawns, salmon, mm. you know, even a stir fry mm. fish mix. <laughs> Cheer him. Mm. Mm. Steak. Yeah. <laughs> Very tasty. It's quite a bit of a kick to it, though. Oh my God, there's a kick to it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Love it. Love it. Love it. Jack, very tasty. No problem. <laughs> we'll let Alan recover. Uh, now, up next, we're going to be mastering I... our mindset and getting healthy. Have I got all the spices? <laughs> the with personal with trainer, Brian, Brian Keane. <laughs> uh, Jack, well no done. Problem. Do you not know he likes chilies? Uh, Get the fire extinguisher. See you in a couple of minutes. See you. <laughs> <laughs>